Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another Distress Oxide colour combination video. So today we're looking at Broken China. Now this is, I think it's about the sixth or seventh in a series of Distress Oxide colour combination videos. I'm working my way through each of the Distress Ink and Oxide colours alphabetically. So we're only onto the Bs at the moment with Broken China, um, but you can see everything on YouTube. There is a playlist for everything as well, so you don't miss out. And if you're, of course, searching for a particular colour, like I say, they'll all be alphabetical and uploaded that way so you should hopefully find what you're looking for and now within each video I uh, blend this color first of all to show you what it actually looks like because of course when you take the lid off it doesn't always look the same as it will on the paper um, but also I'm going to give you a two and three additional color combinations so three colors in total four colors in total um, that you can go ahead and try out if you want to and you'll know what they look like now uh, i'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have thank you so much for supporting me and uh, if you could give this video a thumbs up that would really help me and help to uh, allow other crafters to find these videos nice and easily okay let's get started with broken china so uh, it's a lovely bright blue it's a really really bright blue it's a, a light bright blue as well so we have brights uh, in the darker shades but this is really sort of you your almost your your primary blue i would say because it is that lovely bright color look at this isn't that just absolutely gorgeous so just blending this into a piece of white stamping card uh, you'll find things like the blending mats that i'm using things like the uh, brushes i'm using uh, and of course the card stock and then the inks also uh, all linked below so um, because i do get a lot of comments about where i get each element there we go that is broken china it's stunning it's going to go with so many different colors now i love mixing this into yellows into greens it's harder to mix directly into a into a pink because you're never sure what purple you're going to get in the middle here with the mix but if you can then mix that the blue into a purple first and then into a pink then uh, you'll know what sort of purple you're going to get so there's the blue china the broken china sorry let's do our first color combination as always just give this a quick wipe and then dry off as well and I'm going to go into crushed olive. So I want to make my way into green and I thought that lovely uh, yellowy green in the middle would look beautiful. So this one is, it is, it is, is just like an olive. That's the best way to describe it is an olive green. And again, later on, so because this is a C, it won't be too long before crushed olive has its own video. I really like the way the blue and the green go into each other. So there we go so there's crushed olive just bringing that up a little bit higher higher than where the next color is going to go so we can get that blend and i'm also going to come back to broken china and bring this up a bit more so you see already we're getting a green because crushed olive really does have more of a yellow base look at that so if you want a two color combination that is beautiful really really lovely now let's let's take that into the green and i've chosen rustic wilderness for this it's a really dark green it's a it's a grass green but darker and deeper than mowed lawn look how deep that is it kind of reminds me of boy scouts that <laughs> sort of dark green it's actually my old high school color jumper color green which was just delightful to have to wear this color green every day. So bringing that down, it's a really dark color, so I'm only going to bring it down to join the crushed olive and then I'm going to use the crushed olive to mix it with. I've actually got the wrong blending brush here for a few of my colors because I'm not in my studio today. I'm at home and I've only grabbed a handful of blending brushes, so I'm having to go with the, the closest match for some of them. There we go, look at that. So that is a broken china into crushed olive into rustic wilderness which is just so so pretty and there's so much that you could be using this for so um i just think that's lovely i think i think of easter when i see those colors sort of you've got your your green yellow and your blue sky above there uh, this could be the green fields these could be rows of flowers and then you've got your sky um, but really nice so let's go completely different now for the next color combination so we're going to be using four colors this time 
pop these away um, so I'm going to be going much brighter and br really bright colors is the way I like to use broken china I do love to mix it with pink um, despite what I was saying at the beginning I love to mix broken china with a pink but you do need to work your way into the pink with other colors in between ideally so let's put the broken china down first again there we go so always working in circular motions my preferred blending application is a brush uh, i love these large brushes from craft stash because you can get lots of color down quickly if you want smaller uh, color applica applications so for example working into stencils in detail they uh, craft stash do do stencil blending brushes uh, which are little small ones and they're absolutely perfect so then I'm going into Twisted Citron, like I said, I'm keeping this nice and bright. Uh, this is really bright green. It's brighter than Crushed Olive. If you see the two together, you can see you've got more of a green than a yellow in there. And it's almost like a neon green, as neon as um, they come really with distressing and oxides. So blending that into the blue, look how beautifully that blends. So just showing you the difference here. Let's do a bit more of this just to show you the difference between so we've got the broken china there going into the crushed uh sorry the um twisted citron just there which is the lovely sort of like say more uh brighter green and then you've got this side is the crushed olive so if you want a deeper darker color then there's the crushed olive and then we're going to go into purple now uh, going from wilt wilted violet, it's being a purple, into a green is always a little bit risky. Um, but what I love about Distress Oxides is they just hold their colour. You very, very rarely get any sort of muddiness with the colours. So you can be nice and brave with mixing them. Usually if you were doing, say, watercolours, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't go from a green into a purple because you would get this muddy colour. But I just love how... Like I say, Distress Oxides just hold their own with those colours. Look at that. So you've got a bit of muddiness there. When I say muddiness, I mean where the two colours mix and go almost brown. Um, but it's not. It's not an awful brown in there. And then lastly, we've got Quiche Flamingo. Quiche Flamingo. And if, you, if you've seen me use this colour in other combinations, you'll know I always struggle with saying it. The word just, I just can't say it. <laughs> I don't know why but just popping that into the end there nice bright pink come back in with the wilted violet just to blend that out and look at that so we've actually uh, particularly here we've got another green going on so I haven't done as big an area for the purple and the pink but you can of course evenly space these I got a bit carried away trying to show you the difference between uh, Twisted Citron and Crushed Olive but there's a lovely bright colour combination if you want to go even brighter you could do uh, picked raspberry on the end here let's actually just do that let's just do that to show you so you're getting an extra combination let's just find picked raspberry and let me find the brush for it so this is one that I've got with me at the moment in an ink but as you may have seen in previous videos you can mix inks and oxides absolutely fine they do go on differently um, but mixing them together on a piece of paper isn't an issue I've never found it to be an issue anyway but let's brighten that up so there you go even brighter there with the picked raspberry isn't that just lovely beautiful if you want to do something like that's kind of birthday cake colors isn't it you know the rainbow birthday cake so yeah so there's a couple of different co combinations for you today all using broken china a beautiful blue a lovely bright blue um, definitely worth investing in because these will work with both your lighter and your darker colors so thank you for joining me today everybody i hope you've enjoyed this insight into uh, broken china we will be looking um at i think it's brushed corduroy is the next color a lovely brown which is different so i need to find some uh, color combinations to go with brown so please join me please subscribe to my channel and the playlist and keep checking back for new videos um you should get notifications if you're subscribed anyway so take care everybody and i'll see you again very soon